Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. What is redshift and blueshift? I mean, it's it's very similar to when you're standing on a highway and a car goes by you. And uh, as it's coming towards you, it's at a higher pitch and as it's going away from you, it's at a lower pitch. It's exactly the same, well, it's not exactly the same physical phenomenon. It's a very similar physical phenomenon, uh, except with light. So when, when light is coming, when an object is coming towards you and it's emitting light, the frequency of light that you see appears to be higher. And higher in this case means towards the blue end of the spectrum. When an object is moving away from you, the frequency appears to be lower. Which is not to say that it's emitting it at a lower frequency. It's just that we see it at a lower frequency. And that appears to be uh, towards the redder side of the spectrum. So if it's something is moving away, we say it's the light is red shifted. If it's moving towards us, we say it's blue shifted. Thank you, sir. And you have to be, when people identify elements or whatever, you have to do the back calculation precisely. You think it's coming from this element, OK? But then do you know how fast the, the object is moving towards you or away from you? Do you think you do? Well, if your guess is, well, yes, then you put that in also and then put the two together and say, well, it's probably coming from this element because I know how this element looks on Earth. Okay, and then is it redshifted by the right amount uh, 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 corresponding to the velocity that I think it's moving at? So you have to back calculate, yeah. yeah. During eclipses, by the way, see different shade of the moon. During eclipses, why do we see different shades of the moon? I would say that as you have different amounts of light reaching there, my, su my suspicion is that the reflectivity is color dependent. Would you? I'm not sure what your no. question is. Which eclipse? Lunar or solar? Not lunar eclipse. You, you see reddish moon. I think that's what he's trying to yes. uh, talk about. The moon is more reddish yes. than otherwise. It's a scattering thing. Okay, it it's, has to do with the fact that you're not seeing all, uh, uh, you're, you're seeing preferential scattering, okay? And uh, even the previous question, the blue moon, you know, uh, when there are particles that are large enough to, uh, that are the right size that will scatter blue light everywhere, you see blue, okay? Whereas Actually, I think the answer might well be that during a lunar eclipse, the sunlight hitting the moon is traversing the Earth's atmosphere. Yeah. They might be scattering a way of blue light in the Earth's atmosphere, which I suspect is why the moon looks red because it's been illuminated by uh, more red, light more which red. has less blue in it. I suspect that's the reason. That's a good question. I never thought of it actually.